hello friends previously i created one post uh, based on the issue comes in the msdn like ssrs report parameter change does not refresh default values of dependent parameters so here i used actually sql server database and created a sample report using that uh, sql server data source and then we then i tried how to refresh the default value so in the post if you see when i selected a it has values selected these are the cascading parameters employee name is dependent on employee initial so when i selected a it selected andrew na okay fine but when i selected b it's still selecting andrew ang so that means the parameter is not the default values are not refreshed when we selecting another value in the report so for that i did some uh, how to reset the default values so i appended with parameters value and the uh, first name value and become the key uh, and created the key value so every time the parameter change the default value is dependent on the parameter so default value will modify so like this so when i selected b is very bad and when i selected c again this the default value is refreshed because available values all are there and default values which i selected so this working fine but one user asked me how to create same thing while connecting the ssas queue and the underlying query language is mdx multi dimensional expression so for that i created uh, so to to resolve this feature and to create one sample report on ssrs uh, report based on ssas queue i need to create one first the tables then queue then report so firstly i created some two tables dim employee fact employee same data which i used earlier so when i run this so i have like this values so i will create one queue based on these two tables one is dimension table and one is fact table so i created like sample queue already i created i create using those table structure this is my fact employee dim employee and the when doing with sql server database i created one concatenated value which will act as a key value and based on the parameter value right uh, so let me show you here so same thing i need to create in mdx also so before creating any value that member should exist in the queue so i created one key value member which is nothing but if you see in dsv i created one key value uh, just edit name calculation this is nothing but employee initial plus employee name so while i'll concatenate these things with parameter value then the member the whatever the result will give that concatenation value it should point some member in the dimension for that only i created this employee initial plus employee name concatenation value okay then i deployed onto the server and i deploy on the server if you see here sample queue msdn and then deploy then i open ssrs report and created same uh, as per like existing ssrs report based on sql server is in cube level so if you see employee initial first database is employee initial
so this is nothing but we are getting all initial column employee initial column which is a b c value fine now second data set is employee this is nothing but getting employee based on the parameter employee initial so employee initial definition is nothing but just default value i given like a so this value will be passed from this this employee initial parameter yes one more data set is to bring the available values all available values without any filter so if you see query designer and then run it it will show all the data which i have okay so employee initial parameter based on available values employee initial employee initial column employee initial employee name data uh, sorry parameter will have available value from employee full list which has no filter and default value which has employee which has filter of employee initial let's run the report So when we select employee initial A, we select Andrew and Nick as a default. Okay. Now when I selected employee initial B, it's not refresh. So this was the issue which we are talking in MD Excel. So I'll resolve this issue in next few steps. So you, you need to create the data set query like this, the concatenation like with member employee as here we will replace with the parameter value for the time being I kept like a default value so that I can run the MDX query here. So the employee employee name current member and when you run it, it will show like with member and with concatenating value. So this would be a parameter value. So this MDX should be used wherever we want to use this column employee key. So currently in SSRS report, we need to update the employee data set. So we need to add that well, which I already added. I replaced A with employee initial then the, exactly the same and this employee key I am using on zero row access. Earlier it was like blank and this was already there. So when we run it and to and it this comes because in default value I given like this. employee full list also needs to be updated with this employee key because like this uh, yeah so with member employee key as employee initial so the a is replaced here with the parameter and zero so when i run this so it will like it will also give this so after the mdx query is modified I need, I need to give uh, change the employee name parameter available value and default value so employee this is like uh, available value employee full list employee name value field which will replace by employee key default value employee data set this also will replace with employee key which is the newly created column just press OK, preview it. A, Andrew, Anik is selected. Now I will change the parameter value to B. Now see, Belly Ben is selected. Now I selected C, Chris, Karis. 
is selected so uh, we are successfully able to refresh the default value of any data uh, any parameter in ssr is already done in my blog in mdx ssr cube i did this in the video thank you